What's happening on my head? Am I sitting okay? Okay. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Um, what is happening on my head? I'm kind of going back to the like square one or square zero more like it because I decided to wear my hair more natural. Well, at least I'm gonna attempt. Okay, this is the first day and time that I washed it myself and kind of managed to naturally dry just because it's been really really hot in England which doesn't happen often. The reason why I never wear my hair natural is because it's always cold and it kind of has to dry naturally in order to look like this or yeah something like along those lines. Anyway let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Should I kind of wear it more often natural or not? I don't know like you know it's just kind of curly and unstructured very much. It is 2.34 in the morning as I'm filming this video but I've got full face of makeup because I'm leaving the house in 26 minutes. I'm going out. I'm no, just kidding, I'm not going out. Like, where would you go at 2.34? But I am actually heading to a train station. It's raining outside and my window's open. I'm wondering if that's causing any annoying noises. Should we close the window? I don't know, maybe this video will just make you pee a little bit more because of the constant like running water sound. Or maybe it will just be soothing, we'll see. Anyway, I'm leaving to a train station because I'm going to Paris. So I'm going to take a car to London, uh, St. Pancras and then going to Paris. I should be arriving in Paris around 9 in the morning tomorrow with the time difference and everything else and then I am going to be there for three days for Paris Haute Couture sort of like fashion week like high fashion fashion week and that's kind of like my favorite 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 I probably like my most favorite is men's fashion week then Haute Couture then ready to wear I think Haute Couture is incredible you see all sorts of like really interesting people at the show it's a completely different thing to ready to wear and I really, really enjoy it. I'm looking forward to it, even though there's apparently gonna be a crazy heat wave in Paris, but I'll manage. Anyway, I'm rambling so much, already speaking for three minutes, I haven't actually told you anything about this video. I wanted to film what's in my travel bags, because I think that could be kind of ish interesting, I guess. I've just been packing my bags, because of course, when did I ever pack on time? So I wanted to show you what I've got in my travel bags as always and they're here I have two Louis Vuitton this one over here is a makeup bag I will link the bags below as well and this one over here is usually my toiletries and kind of like a beauty bag this could probably be my favorite ever toiletry bag ever I love saying ever twice it's incredible it's amazing if it's so much and I love it absolutely love it so I will start with it how I pack these is usually by doing my evening or morning skincare routine and then I put everything after I've used it that way I don't forget anything and same goes with makeup so I did my makeup just now because I was full day without makeup then I did my makeup because I want to travel looking presentable to Paris and also when I arrive there I have to go straight to the show so I'm gonna leave my suitcases and head to Dundas show or Skipper Alley Skipper Alley I have first and then Dundas and then Iris Van Herpen like show after show after show so I have to have some makeup on or I could do it on my train right during the train ride but I prefer to sleep during the train ride so how I do it is like basically I was doing the makeup and then I was packing stuff because that's usually convenient for me but anyway I'm gonna go straight into this and show you what I've got in here it's semi-organized let's just say it let's just put it that way I'll do this in no particular order uh, but first thing considering my hair looks completely different would be this IGK rich kid coconut oil gel it looks like this in a tube. Wow, hair is ridiculous. What I do is I use a lot of this kind of oil. I'm not gonna be talking about every single product because this video will go on forever. And I just crunch it up. It actually like nourishes and like nourish like looks after the hair as well, like moisturizes it as well. It just kind of like defines the curl a little bit and I love it. Um, I need to have it in case the hair goes bad and I look like this. Going forward, at the back pocket, 
off the makeup bag I have Guerlain Honey Cataplasm Mask It's like a moisturizing, nourishing mask for face I like this during the fashion week And I also have Guerlain Super Aqua Eye This is my favorite, well one of my favorite uh, under eye patches. I have a thing for under eye patches. I love using them and they're just amazing. Then also at the back I got the way dry hair supplements, curly hair if you have it you know it's very dry there's nothing you can do to it no matter how great you are. It's like naturally dry just like some skins are naturally dry like my hair never gets greasy or oily because it's dry. It's, there are like benefits and bad sides of it. Also at the back I've got Dr. Barbara Sturm um, facial scrub, just like a tiny little one when I feel the need to scrub everything off my face. A nail file, cannot live without a nail file, especially when traveling. Got my Revita Lash uh, Lash Serum because I love it and I need it. Got a lot of random things in the back in the pocket. <laughs> Like mini tiny tweezer and tweezers. Uh, the car's picking me up in 20 and I will have to pack this up back. Royal Fern. This is like a mini 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 serum. I showed it to you in my Florence video. I have a Misoma necklace in here which is absolutely stunning. I will link it below just like everything else that I mentioned. And I have a Dior hair pin which says Ja Dior. Do I have anything in this back pocket? No, just the Louis Vuitton. Interesting, I'm gonna take this out. It's making my bag 50 grams heavier, which is never good. Then a fragrance, and I'm gonna have to tell you a little bit about this one. It's called Fuegia, is the brand. I don't know, probably butchered the name. I purchased this one, I don't know where you can get it, but I got it in Harrods in Beauty Hall, in the new Beauty Hall. That's when I discovered it as well. And uh, what does it say? Echo a mano por Fuegia. 1833 in Milano con extractos botanicos de la Patagonia. Yes. Did you understand? So it's basically handmade for this brand in Milan with botanical extracts from Patagonia. And this is called Quilombo. It's incredible. This fragrance is incredible. It's got coconut, I think, vanilla. For some reason it smells like mangoes, to me at least, or like mango dessert, it's incredible, I'm obsessed with it. Like I said, I discovered it during the beauty hall opening, so you can find it in Harrods ground floor. I don't know where else, but I am obsessed. I met the owner of it as well, um, like the kind of founder I guess, well not the one from 1833, but you know what I mean. I met the guy who does it and I absolutely fell in love with the brand. Then I have my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. Do not travel without this anywhere, it's the best thing in the world. I actually have a big bottle at home and then I just decant it in these little ones. I think now you can buy it in England as well because I also bought the big one in Harrods. Never ever ever saw it anywhere else, like a duty free I always struggle finding it so I can never find it. So I used to always buy it in the US. SkinCeuticals Clarifying Clay Mask because you need a good clay mask. SkinCeuticals one of my favorite skincare brands. There are quite a few of my favorite skincare brands, but I love SkinCeuticals and I think it's incredible and I always need a good clay mask during fashion weeks. Then I have La Mer, the Eye and Expression Cream. I love this especially because I make a lot of effort during fashion week and I don't drink enough water and then I get like expression lines so I like to massage this in and give myself a little face massage. And I also got my La Mer Concentrate because I love this and it's a great, great repair serum for anything. So I would apply it on any kind of dry skin patches, not just on my face, but it's in general really, really great and I love it. I have a lot of things here. I have a mini toothpaste, as you can see. My toothbrush, which is a Foreo toothbrush. I've been using this one for like quite a while now. My Foreo, which looks very dirty, but it's waterproof. so. I wash it and it's fine and it's charged, you guys know. I've been working with Foreo now for over a year, but in general I never travel anywhere without its products because I really, really do believe that they're great. Also have the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. This is really a great product, smells amazing, my hair smells wonderful after it, but when I'm wearing it natural, I especially, especially need to keep it moisturized, especially the ends because it doesn't look good when it's not moisturized. Then I have some dental floss. Dental floss, just an oral B. Ooh, for the days when I'm super, super lazy with my skincare, I just apply one thing. It's the Augustinus Bader, the Rich Cream. This is the last bottle that I have of it. 
I love this product, it's incredible, it's one of the best moisturizers I've ever used in my life. I will link it below, it's like for you to read about it because it uses really really high science for skincare and it's amazing. Best vitamin C shot, I call it for the skin, this one's unopened yet, uh, is the Clinique one. I love this, it only lasts for 7 days once you open it, so I haven't opened it yet. My favorite face oil, which is the Beauty Skincare Anti-Inflammaging Skincare. I almost used half of this bottle. It's incredible. I honestly wouldn't travel anywhere without this and I love this face oil. My skin loves oils, so yeah. Another like kind of eye product, this is the under eye uh, contouring mask and it's by Tata Harper. Another brand that I love for skincare is like 100% natural without anything. I think it's amazing and it really moisturizes the around the eye area. Then I have something that I love using in the mornings after, well, before my SPF, and it's SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic High Potency Triple Antioxidant Treatment. It has 15% L-ascorbic acid, 1% alpha tocopherol, and 0.5% ferulic. I love this. Also, ferulic does help a little bit against sun damage, so overall it's great. I have a spare thing for my Venus Breeze. Now I realize that I haven't packed it, so very important thing. I have a moisturizer which is Kiehl's Creme de Corps, the best moisturizer ever. By my bed, I have the big one, as you guys know. I love this, it's the best thing in the world. I have a little cuticle oil thingy. I also will bring my uh, castor oil mini as well. I have Caudalie Vinyl Pure Serum Infusion for anti-imperfections. This is when I get breakouty. And then if I need extra glow, I have my Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask by Glow Recipe. This is the mini version and it's actually amazing. It gives really, really great glow and I love using this product. And it smells like watermelons. So that's basically it. In the front bits, I don't have anything except from nipple covers because nipple covers are something I never travel without because you never know what kind of top you might need to wear and then I don't know like I don't I'm not really like like I never wear a bra and I'm not really big on like ooh like you know nipple showing a little bit I don't I don't really I'm not really fussed because the way I was raised I know some people are very very fussy about nipples especially I think Americans if I'm not mistaken um, so where I grew up like where I would go for summer holidays in Croatia women around me would bathe topless and that includes my grandmother is this too much information I don't know anyway it's kind of relatively normal in Europe but I know we would have like American friends who would come over and they would get absolutely absolutely disgraced about it like they would be like oh my god this is incredible i don't know if this is too much information i don't know if it's a cultural thing please educate me or maybe i should do some research on it but yeah i i'm interested in your opinions so please feel free to nicely let me know about it when i say nicely i mean like please don't hate on my grandmother <laughs> she's 81 and she is a very nice lady and i love her very much and She's given me a lot. Oh, I forgot to show you something because I haven't packed it. Dr. Colbert, well, Colbert and the Tone Control Facial Discs. I just brought four. This is like acid. Um, I need to put it in there because I need that. Oh, and my foot cream, Ameliorate Foot Cream, Smooth Skin Science, Intensive Foot Treatment. I'm obsessed with looking after my feet. It's like a thing of mine. That's all for one more thing. And I still have to pack that razor. I've got the Nivea black and white deodorant. Deodorant is very important as well. So that's it now. That's all. Okay. These are things that I haven't put in my makeup bag. So I'll start with them. And actually I might even put these in my hand luggage. I've got the Benefit Hello Happy Velvet Powder Foundation. This was a PR sample that arrived in post recently. And I've already used it so much that the smiley face isn't anymore embossed on the powder. Because I've used it way too much. Two lip pencils that are recently purchased or repurchased after many, many years of using it, are the Subculture and Boldly Bare by MAC. Boldly Bare I'm wearing on my lips right now. Together with the Lancome, this is I think Chiara Ferragni's collection, and this one's called Independent Woman. It's very sheer and nude and just easy, like moisturizing for every day. My favorite, all-time favorite lipstick is this one from Chanel. You guys always tell me that the lid is wrong, so the name is that I've got here is from a red. Lippy, but I'll try and... Okay, the battery died, but luckily, this car is picking me up now in 8 minutes. I have a spare one, so I can film this and then quickly pack and close the bags and take them downstairs and leave. 
Okay, Chanel lipstick. I will find the actual name of this. This is my favorite nude lipstick of all times. I will link it below for you guys to check it out. It's incredible. Also have like, you know, like three nude lipsticks is what you need. This is a Lancome one and this one is in color Beige Mirage. I love this lipstick. It's beautiful. Lancome is just doing amazing at the moment, which is why I'm also wearing this rosy plum. It's like a gloss that I love to wear over my lipsticks. And then, this I'm gonna pack. It's the Lancome Custom Highlight Drops and I found it in a box that I gave to my sister and I was like, why is this in here? I accidentally put it there. And the actual makeup bag I have, ladies and gentlemen, Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 6.5. I love this for summer days, winter days, any days because this is an amazing foundation. Very light and beautiful. And like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm kind of going back to square one, like more natural hair, more natural everything, less makeup. When I say less makeup, I don't mean I'm not going to be wearing makeup. I'm still going to be wearing a lot of makeup because I love makeup so much, but like less obvious makeup. And I don't know if that's apparent in this video. Let me know if you think it is, but I'm trying to be more natural, not only because I think it's something that's um, very, very back in fashion being like kind of stripped down, but I also kind of have tried everything and kind of, you know, like really want to stick to only the best things and want to stick to kind of natural ways. That's just a phase I'm going through and it's completely fine to go through different phases. So, you know, I've got my Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. Whenever I travel, I always have this cotton pad inside because it always breaks. Now, I'm currently testing this Huda Beauty Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray. I don't know what I think about waterproof setting sprays. They cannot be good for your skin. Nothing waterproof can be good for you, really. Your lashes or your skin or whatever because, you know, what is that kind of chemical inside of it that makes it not um, washed by water? But we'll see. Maybe it will be good for some hot fashion weeky days. Then I have my favorite eye palette at the moment, which is NARS Wanted. It looks like this. I also have like travel minis of this that I love and they're amazing. But um, I kind of couldn't be bothered <laughs> to look for it. I have what you guys are always asking me what I've got on my cheeks. And it's the Jouer blush in Cheeky Summer. I might have actually mentioned this in my monthly favorites. I don't know, I will link that video below and you guys can check it out. I absolutely love, love, love this product. It's incredible. And I applied it with Aura brush. This is a brush by a Serbian brand and um, I think probably like, well, one of the best available brands in Serbian market. And then I have Laura Mercier translucent powder, like a mini tiny version. I have a lot of Laura Mercier brushes here. In particular the foundation brush and the glow powder brush. I have the Benefit Roller Liner, the black eyeliner for the nights. The Chanel Electric Brown Stylo Contour, which is what I used to contour my ojos. The Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil. It's this product over here and it's also what I've got in eyebrows at the moment. Laura Mercier bronzer, heavily used in Soleil 2. Love it. Dior backstage eye palette, beautiful colors. When I want like warmer tones, then warmer browns than what's in here. Because the browns in here are kind of cold, even though it has some reds. But the browns in here are a bit warmer. My YSL Couture Eye Primer, the product I cannot live without. No eyeshadow can look as good without it. Eyes to Kill Armani Mascara in black, what I'm wearing right now and what I'm wearing lately a lot. Especially after the L'Oreal Paradise Primer Aesthetic Primer. It's like a white mascara, so you apply this first. If you have a man around you when you're doing your makeup and you do this, the guy's gonna think you're leaving your house with white mascara and he's gonna be like, what are you doing? So like maybe play with it a little bit, like apply white mascara and walk around the house until he asks. It's just fun. Sisley Phytoblan Brightening Daily Defense Fluid SPF 50, something I wear every single day, even when I wear no makeup and I'm at home sitting here because apparently what I learned from my friend Mariana Hewitt, UV rays can also like come through the window and kind of um, damage your skin. I also have Chanel The Best Ever Black Coal, which is the intense 
eye pencil in black. I love this, cannot live without this. And I also have Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil in soft brown. This is for more precise kind of brow situation. Then I have another lip liner from MAC in Spice. It's a bit darker. Then I have Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. And I have a lot of brushes. And that is it. Most of my brushes are from Dior, Laura Mercier, Zoeva, and MAC. And that is basically it. That is all. I'm gonna put it all back now because the car is coming now in exactly two minutes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you're tuning in to my Paris Haute Couture adventures. As you're watching this, I'm probably getting ready because that's gonna be Wednesday and Thursday. I will be doing like a fun day with Louis Vuitton and then going back to London before my trip to Mykonos with Etro. Normal people would say, why not just fly from Paris to Mykonos, but why have it easy when you can have it complicated? Anyway, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.